Greetings everyone, Fru here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. Today's demo, we're going to highlight a really cool capability in Snowflake, a uh, preview feature, but open to all accounts called the Execute Immediate From. Uh, this is a very powerful uh, feature. We're going to highlight, go through some examples and illustrate how this could be uh, useful for different use cases as you work with data on the Snowflake platform. Now, execute uh, immediate from is a little bit new, but most folks might be familiar with the execute immediate that's been out for a while. What this allows you to do essentially is taking arbitrary DML code or DDL code and being able to execute that without necessarily tying it into a stored procedure. If you have a DML, you can always put that into a stored proc and orchestrate that. Alternatively, you can uh, execute immediate the statement without having the wrapper to a start procedure. Now, the use case going back to the execute immediate from is extending that and giving you the ability to uh, execute code that could be uh, in files on a stage or coming from your source control. It offers a lot more flexibility. To illustrate that, let's go over to the UI and see what this looks like in practice with some hands-on examples. As always, links to the documentation in the description below. Do check that out. Going back to uh, the scenario, for most folks, you might have a Visual Studio Code or some IDE. You've written code. The reason why this is important is your code could be getting versioned. So checking that into a Git repo and you have a workflow entirely, in this case, Visual Studio Code where you do your statements and that code gets checked into a Git repo and goes through your CI CD process. Now, assume we have this code and this could be thousands and thousands of lines. For the sake of this illustration, for the sake of this demo, let's keep this simple. And this code essentially will create a table for us. Obviously, I can copy this code, paste it into the worksheet on SnowSide and get that executed. But we don't want that for this example. We want to execute everything within this file, referencing this file and executing this entire file inventory underscore ddl.sql. If there are thousands and thousands of lines of code here, as an example, we want everything executed without us having to copy and paste this into a worksheet. So this capability allows you to do that in a really simple way. And I think you're going to love it. That said, let's go back over to the worksheet make sure that we don't have that table existing. So I'm going to drop that. I might have run this uh, a couple of times before. And we don't have a table called my inventory. Now, what we want to do is reference the file where the DDL script to create my inventory table resides. There are a couple of ways you can do this. Go back to the documentation. You can do a put command using snow, snow SQL and put that file into a stage. There are lots of options. But I'm going to show the really easy way for us to do that, leveraging the file upload capability part of the Snowside UI. I think this is another very flexible option. Obviously, in production, you wouldn't be using this approach because you're going to want the Git route. So coming back into DemoDB, I have a schema. We have stages. The stage is a temporary location for you to store arbitrary object on structured data. In this case, we're going to be storing our code base, the .sql file select the stage this is currently empty go ahead and import that file has been uploaded in a few seconds that should be done and we have a file sitting in a stage go back to a worksheet in this case we can do execute immediate from referencing the fully qualified path to the file to confirm if we select from this that table doesn't exist uh, because we don't have it existing but execute this uh, inventory DDL sitting in the stage, execute immediate from, that should execute. The table has been created. Now select from that table, even though there is no records in there. Now, this is a very simple example, uh, trivia to be honest, but you can imagine having some really complex uh, DML operations happening in here. This gives you the way to make those changes in a non-breaking fashion. Check those into your Git repo, copy that into a stage, from there, you can directly reference those files and have execute immediately. This keeps your worksheet uh, a little bit cleaner or plugs into a CI-CD process in a more uh, clean and flexible way. Because we have that table created, I'm going to go ahead and insert a couple of records, four records to verify. We have four records now in that uh, table. 
If you really wanted to take this from a more flexible approach, you can always wrap the execute immediate into a task. In this case, it's a task uh, orchestrating every five minutes. Now, there are no changes to it. So when this task runs, it's just going to run the script. And you got to be careful because this is create or replace. So yeah, you want to be careful with this. You're not going to be create or replacing your production tables. But depending on what your script is doing, this can give you a flexible way to, to orchestrate that. Now, let's see some changes. Go back and do a select from this table. We should see two columns. There is queue and there is price. Now, imagine I'm not happy with this column name called SKU. Maybe we want to call it something different. Now I have to go back, make some changes into my DDL, commit that through my CI CD process, get that checked into my version control, synced up into my stage, and I'll execute that to make the table changes. Go back for the sake of illustration, comment that code out, and assume that this is the new change. Again, keeping this simple. So now, we've made our changes, the file has been updated, but it doesn't exist here in the stage. As before, because we're doing this manually, and I have to emphasize, this is not how you're going to do this in actual production use cases. This is just to illustrate in a very simple way. I'm going to get the latest file uh, updated to my stage. So we have the latest code. Browse, import that. And this is the latest DDL file in this stage. It takes a few seconds here. With this file available, if my task is secured, it should run every five minutes. It's going to process that. But we don't have five minutes to wait, so I'm just going to go ahead and execute the task immediate. Perfect. This queue has been renamed and we do have product code. But you can see how having this uh, execute immediate from can give you the flexibility to plug into a very robust CI CD pipeline. If you prefer an external IDE, in this case Visual Studio Code or PyCharm or something else, you plug that into your CI CD process with GitHub, GitHub Actions. The code is getting updated into a stage and you have the execute from taking the scripts and, and executing that in real time. So it's a flexible way, and this can keep your worksheet uh, a little bit simpler. Some people might prefer this, some might not, but I think it's a really powerful and cool capability to have at your fingertips. Hopefully this was helpful. We've highlighted execute immediate from. Uh, again, links to the documentation will be in the description below. As always, if you uh, have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know, and I'll see what we can do. If you found this valuable, don't hesitate uh, to share this with somebody that may get uh, value out of this. This has been Fru here with Demo Hub. I'll see you in the next demo.